Hi, I'm Bob, product designer for Creator Studio, and today I'd like to walk you through My Yearbook Photo. My Yearbook Photo is a self-service school portrait tool which allows yearbook advisors to request school portraits from students and families and flow them right onto the pages of the yearbook. And that's what I'd like to show today. Let's get started. So I've opened my project in Creator Studio. So I'll look down here at the People module, and you can see I have a, uh, a message here saying uh, that I can use my yearbook photo if I don't have PSPA. Well, that's what we're going to assume today is that I don't have a PSPA CD or file to import. So I'll begin by clicking on Manage People. Uh, this takes me to a blank list. I have no people in my project. And so I have two options here. One, I can import from PSPA, or two, I can use my yearbook photo. I can begin by importing my student list. And it says here below this button, have your student and staff CSV file ready. Okay, so I need a file, a list of all the students and staff that I want to request portraits from. I happen to have that right here. Now you can get this list from your school secretary or, or export it from your student information system. Um, however you get it, it needs to be in a CSV format to be uploaded to Creator Studio. I'm looking at my uh, list here in Excel and I have some columns here and it doesn't matter what order the columns are in as long as you have at least last name and first name and email and grade. Uh, you can also include teacher, homeroom, or some other custom information column. Now the email address can be the student email or the parent email, depending on the age of, of your student. Um, either way, later on, that student or that email address will get an invite to submit a, a photo. So I have my list here and now I'm ready to import it into Creator Studio. So I will click on this Use My Yearbook Photo button. Now I will uh, select the CSV file that I was just looking at and begin to import that. The first step for importing is to match these columns that I was just looking at with the, with the known data fields in the system. So the system uses grade and last name and first name and teacher and email address and homeroom and custom info. However, we need some help matching those fields with with the fields in your CSV file. So that's what this screen here is. So it will show a preview of what's in that file, the first 10 records. And I can, up here I can see that I have 10 of 693 records that I'm going to be importing. So I have a, each column here. Uh, first column I see is grade, and, and then the second column is last, first, teacher, and email address. So to begin to match these up with the data fields in the system, I'm going to use this dropdown and choose the name that best matches that column. And I have this blank column at the end here that I'm just going to ignore, not going to choose anything from the dropdown, and, and that won't be imported. But before I import this, I do want to do one more thing. Some, depending on your CSV file, you may have this first row of your column headings, like I do here, grade, last, first, teacher, and email. Uh, we don't want to import those. So we have this checkbox here to say, don't import first row. If you have a first row and you don't check that, then it will be imported as a record, as a student record in the book. And you don't want that. So click on don't import first row if you have that those column headings. So now I can finish importing this list. It's going to process the names and import those. And they're all imported into the book. All without photos, of course, as indicated here by the uh, red icon next to each name. So now I'm ready to request portrait photos from all of these people. I'm going to click on the My Yearbook Photo drop-down here and click on Request Portraits. It'll take me to this screen and I have some options here. Uh, first, it wants to know who am I requesting portraits from? 
Am I requesting portraits from everyone that doesn't have a photo? Well, I just imported this list, so yeah, everyone needs a photo. So I'm going to select this first option for the first time I'm sending this. I also have the option to send to only the selected people that I have in the list. So I can select specific people in the list and then come to this uh, screen here and request portraits from for, for just them. And maybe you're doing that because uh, there's some additional people that you added to the list or you're sending a reminder uh, to specific people. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to send the request to everyone. Now I need to choose a submission deadline. This is the date that you want the photos in by. That will appear in the email and on the page that they're submitting the photos on. And I can change that date at any time and it will change it for, for everyone. So if you need to extend the date, uh, that's fine. Next, I need to include a message. And we have a default message here. You can go in and change this uh, to whatever you want. And this message will appear in the email that will be sent. Okay, so now I'm ready to send this. Uh, I'm gonna do that by hitting send and they're off. Now let's play the part of the student or the parent that gets this email. So I have that email open on a um, mobile device and I'm looking at it here and it has the school name and it has an invite to uh, submit that photo as well as the person's name, the grade, and the deadline as well as the message that you had uh, put in before sending it. And I have a, a button here uh, that I can click on and uh, go to the page to submit the photo. That button goes to this link here, and that link is unique to each student, each person in the list. So they're not gonna wanna share this with other people. It's specific to them. It's what ties them back to their record in the book. So I'm gonna click on Submit Photo, and it's gonna open up a web page. And on this web page, it has some of that same information that was in the email. And my first step is to review the guidelines. This is very important uh, because we want to have a nice looking photo fit for a yearbook. And so they will need to read through these guidelines. Uh, you know, no hats, no sunglasses, no pets, make sure you have good lighting, uh, no copyrighted photos, uh, you know, various things to remember when taking this photo. We also have some example portraits that are showing here and we're going to click continue to the next step now on a mobile device such as this phone that that i'm on i have two options i can take a photo with the camera on the phone or i can find a photo uh, that i already took that's on my phone and upload that now if you're on an iphone then the camera option is only going to be available if you're using safari Okay, so I'm going to go with take a photo and then we get a prompt that will allow us to open the camera. Okay, and this is just showing that there'll be some guidelines on the camera you want to match the eyes and the chin with as well as the center. So we get a nice consistent photo. Once the camera's open, you get a viewfinder, those overlays to match the eyes and the chin with, and a shutter button. So once you have it lined up, hit the shutter button, it will give a countdown before the photo is actually taken. It will show you a preview there. You can choose to retake it or you can use the photo and continue. Now to finish off step two, I see my photo is good and I'm going to hit continue. Now on the last step, I have to agree to the terms that this is the person that I say it is and that I'm giving permission for the yearbook to use this photo. And then I hit submit and the photo is now submitted. So as an advisor back in Creator Studio, when I come back to this list of, of people, as photos are coming in, I will see a little green dot next to each new photo. And that just tells me I haven't seen it yet. And I also see a number of unseen photos indicated here. So I can uh, review those photos one by one. And as I view them, that green dot goes away. Now, if one of these photos isn't quite right and we need, uh, we need the photo retaken for whatever reason, 
then the advisor can request that reshoot by going to my yearbook photo menu at the top and clicking on request reshoot. Now, something to keep in mind, once you request the reshoot, the photo will be deleted from the book and uh, another email will be sent to that person with a, the submission deadline and also this reason that you indicate here. Um, put whatever reason it is and you can change this submission deadline. Um, it just uses the deadline that you used from the previous email that you sent, um, but you can change it. It will change it for everyone, even those who haven't submitted one yet. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Once all these photos are coming in, then they work just like how uh, portrait photos have worked in Creator Studio previously. You can create portrait rules and portrait sections or portrait pages and have those uh, photos and names flow into those pages. Those photos who haven't been submitted yet will show on the page as photo not available. Um, once those uh, come in and the page has been reflowed, then you'll see those photos fill in. That's it. That's my yearbook photo. Thanks for watching and happy yearbooking.